Hey, I'm Glenn with DIY Creators and today I'm going to make a modern doghouse. This video is sponsored by Wrangler Rigs Workwear. Comfortable, durable, and tough at a great value. Backed by a lifetime warranty and innovative fabric technology that offers comfort and protection on the job. Wrangler Rigs Workwear is designed to stand up to the toughest work condition while providing an unparalleled comfort. To begin, I'm going to start by marking the sides first. Then I'm going to use the circular saw guide to make a straight cut. You can find this build in my limited tool series. Now after making the first cut, I'm going to repeat the same thing for the second side. Then I'll cut the back as well. The sides and the back is already cut, so now I'm going to cut the top and the bottom. So Rockler sent me these clampet corner jigs which make life a whole lot easier especially when putting cabinets or any kind of box together. So I'm going to use a ton of wood glue. I need this to be as strong as it can be so I'm using a tight bond wood glue that's outdoor rated. So I'm using a 3 quarter inch plywood and to make all my joints I'm going to pre-drill and then use 2 inch decking screws to anchor that down. And now I'm going to take a piece of scrap wood, attach that to the top, flip the house over, and then attach the bottom. Once you get the bottom lined up, pre-drill and attach the bottom using screws. So I'm gonna wrap the doghouse using some premium tongue and groove pattern whiteboard. These, I got them on sale for like $2.40 because they was on the clearance rack. Now with them being on the clearance rack, some of them had some damage to it, but for $2.40, I couldn't pass that up. Now these boards come in 12 foot sections and my mother saw area is not set up to do 12 foot cuts. So I took my work piece to the floor. I only mitered the front side of the doghouse so when you look at it it's a clean look but on the back I just butted them up to each other. After all my pieces are cut I'm going to start by covering the back first. Now I will be gluing all these pieces on so I want to set it up and test it first to make sure that everything looks good. On one side of the doghouse I'm going to attach a piece of wood to use that as a reference so as I'm adding each individual pieces on I can have a stop. So I glued the entire doghouse on one side and then I glued each individual board as I was adding them. Now that I've confirmed that all the pieces look good, I'm going to start by attaching them permanently using the nail gun. So in this case I find it better to just shoot the nails inside the groove that way you won't have to touch up any holes on the surface. Now as you can notice, I'm only working with one panel at a time because I want to make sure that it's as tight as it can be and working my way from the bottom up to the top. Now I do believe in the glue and the nail gun, but adding a few screws from the inside, it shouldn't hurt. Now goal number one was to keep the cost down. So even if I had to attach two pieces together to make one row, that's what I did. So along the front, I decided to miter the corner because I wanted to have a clean look when you're looking directly at the doghouse. Now I'm going to measure the distance across the back and then I'm going to take that same measurement, bring that towards the front, add a piece of scrap wood in place just so I keep the same measurement from front to back because now I need to add the front trim. Since there's not a ton of support on this side, I'm going to use pocket holes to hold this side of the trim on. Now the side panel on this side of the doghouse should be flush with the trim going around. So I'm going to use a scrap piece to hold that in place and that way I can measure off of that. After adding glue, then I'll install the pocket hole screws. So attaching the other side should be much easier. I'm just going to glue that and then I'm going to install screws from the inside.
To attach the top trim, I'm just going to use the nail gun to hold it in place. I'll be using screws to hold it all together. Adding this piece of wood served two purposes. One, to help hold the front trim on and also to help hold the roof. Now shortly after attaching this piece, I did realize that it's actually not matching the opposite side. So I had to remove it again, install a small piece of ply that would push this post back and then it should be true to the other side. This piece of 2x4 is going to go from the floor all the way to the roof. I put a 5 degree pitch on top of the 2x4 and this should help the roof angle down. To come up with that angle I just played the guessing game. Whatever looked like it was right that's what I did on this project. And if you notice the back is much lower than the front and that helps with the pitch. All my roof supports are up, so it's time to finish the siding. So the top part of the plywood is going to be wrapped with some 2x2 two two trim going around the top perimeter. And to the top of that, I'm going to also add some plexiglass. And the plexiglass is going to give it a unique design, and also it's going to be like some upper windows. So the front and the back roof support are at the same pitch, so I'm going to use my level to draw a straight line on the plexiglass. Now being that we have to make an angle cut, it's going to be really hard to cut this on a table saw. So I find it much easier to use a circular saw and a saw guide. And at this point I'm going to attach the trim going around the top. The nail gun is just a placeholder. I'm going to use pocket hole screws from the inside to help hold this in place. Now to attach the plexiglass, I'm just going to use screws and countersink the heads. So I kept the roof pretty simple, which is just a piece of plywood wrapped with some zinc metal. To secure the sheet metal to the plywood, I'm going to use some roofing screws, which has a rubber washer on it, and this prevent water from penetrating. Now cutting through this metal is pretty simple, especially if you have the right tools, and these scissors make quick work of this metal. So handling this kind of metal is really sharp and you have to be careful when you're handling this metal because it'll probably rip you open. So wearing gloves is probably the best practice. Now the one sheet of metal could have did this entire project but I'd have to overlap it just like this here. And there's nothing wrong with that, it's just I bought a couple sheets and I didn't want to deal with the hassle of returning. So I've had this piece of aluminum for years and I finally find a use for it. In this case I'm going to use it to cover up the front of the plywood. And now I'm going to sand the doghouse down before I apply finish. Now one crazy thing, on Instagram I asked my friends what should I do, should I paint it, should I stain it? And by a wide margin, stain one. However, I was on the fence on which way to go, it didn't really matter to me, but the woman at the house said she wanted it painted. So that's how we ended up with the painted color. Now the reason why I painted the interior this black is I have a ton of black paint that I've been trying to get rid of for a while and it also helps with protecting the plywood. Now being that this is going to be outside and exposed to the elements I'm going to use a sealer primer prior to adding the paint. Adding the aluminum tape was not part of the design, however, I thought it gave it an interesting look.
To attach the roof, I'm going to use these one inch galvanized L brackets and that's going to be placed on the inside of all the corners. Now being at the doghouse is all white now, I thought it looked crazy plain. So I decided to add a wood trim going around the front. And the trim, I decided to stain that with a pecan stain from Minwax and also with some spray urethane on it. And to attach these pieces, I'm gonna use some long screws from the inside. So now I'm gonna take on the fun part and that's hauling this thing to the back. And here I'm gonna install the plexiglass going around the perimeter. Right now I'm gonna set up the doghouse, placing them on a few concrete blocks. And last but not least, it's time to attach the roof. Big thanks to Wrangler for sponsoring this video. Stay tuned for the landscaping video and at the end of that, I'll give you details on how you can win a similar Riggs workwear outfit. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Leave a thumbs up and I will catch you guys on the next one. And if you're not already, please subscribe.